In video one of the Rethinking Energy series, we learned all about Trinidad and Tobago's opportunity cost, which represents the economic value lost due to the difference in natural gas pricing when sold for electricity generation versus the value which can be derived when sold to the petrochemical sector. But in looking at how to optimize our resources, we should understand the role that we play as consumers in our homes, businesses and organizations. In TNT, we benefit from electricity prices which are significantly lower than our other Caribbean neighbors and most of the world. But why is there such a big difference? How is this supported? And can it be sustained? Throughout the process of converting natural gas into usable electricity in our homes, various costs are incurred by TNTech. These include the purchase of natural gas from NGC, the conversion of gas into electricity, which is carried out by independent power producers contracted by TNTech under power purchase agreements, the maintenance, upkeep and new infrastructure for our power grid to ensure reliable and secure transmission and distribution, and lastly, administration and operational costs to support TNTech's functioning as a critically important national company. In 2015, TNTech purchased natural gas from NGC at a total cost of 953 million TT dollars, which translates to 11 cents TT per kilowatt hour. When we add in all the other costs identified, we find that in 2015, the total cost to TNTech amounts to 44 cents for each kilowatt hour of electricity produced. Because we as consumers do not pay the true price of the electricity we consume, this means that TNTech is running at a loss. In Trinidad and Tobago, we use about 9,000 gigawatt hours per year of electricity. And so, in 2015 alone, the losses incurred to TNTech surmounted to approximately 900 million TT dollars, or about 130 million US. As a result, TNTech has had to rely on government funding from our national budget and has also been unable to pay NGC for the gas used to generate electricity. According to TNT's 2018 budget statement, TNTech is currently in arrears to NGC for over $4 billion. Remember, as we also learned in video one, the true market price of natural gas is greater than that which TNTech pays to NGC. The electricity subsidy, therefore, refers to the difference between the price which we as consumers pay and the actual price of electricity, considering all true costs. To help bridge the gap and create more sustainable operations for TNTech and prevent a continued growth in their debt position to NGC, an electricity rate review is currently underway, where our last pricing modification took place eight years ago in 2011, and rate reviews are normally conducted every five years. But a rise in electricity rates does not have to mean higher bills. Already now, as we consumers have the opportunity to save on electricity costs by reducing energy wastage and deploying greater efficiency measures at home. But these will become even more important with increases in electricity prices, since reducing energy consumption will then mean even greater savings on our bills. Such efforts we can all make include turning off air conditioning while not in use, upgrading to more efficient appliances, LED light bulbs and AC units, and even installing solar water heaters, which are common almost everywhere else in the Caribbean. Other key solutions which can be done on the national scale will be covered in more detail in Video 3 and include vital energy efficiency upgrades to our natural gas power plants, the restructuring of take-or-pay agreements which currently exist between TNTech and the independent power producers, as well as potential renewable energy projects. In 2017, TNT was ranked the number one most energy inefficient country in the world by The Economist, based on the energy we consume for every dollar of GDP generated. However, taking advantage of opportunities available now to reduce TNT's natural gas consumption and improve our overall efficiency can be extremely beneficial in helping us to build our energy security for future generations to come which can also have great positive impacts on our overall economic health and sustainability as a country. Moreover, these solutions would help us meet the carbon emission reduction targets, which we set out, along with 194 other countries, under the 2015 COP21 Paris Climate Agreement, and which Trinidad and Tobago just ratified in 2018.